morning, 5 a.m.ers. Let's go this way today. One of the things I love about winter walking the most is the sound. You can hear every single step. So loud. And it's beautiful. I just have moments while we're walking that I just get waves of happiness. Like, what an amazing life we live. That every day we get to get up at 5 a.m. and go for a walk and just enjoy. Enjoy nature, enjoy life, enjoy each other. That is beautiful. So yesterday I had a very good friend of mine send me a link to um, the most amazing podcast about your inner circle, the people you surround yourself with. And it was called Distance Yourself from Negativity. And it was the podcaster and former NFLer, Trent Shelton, who was giving the talk. And it was a nine minute podcast. And I just felt like he hit truth bomb after truth bomb. One of the most powerful things I thought he said was um, about how imperative it is that you surround yourself with supportive people. And he talked about how mindset is contagious and it really resonated, especially with COVID going on, how contagious mindset is. And he said, and I quote, surround yourself with people whose mindsets you wouldn't mind catching. Think about that. The people you want around yourself are people with mindsets that you wouldn't mind catching. That's incredible. It instantly clarifies who's good in your life, who's there for you to support you. And maybe it identifies people that are not healthy for you. Another truth bomb that he released was Think about your future self and think about what you can and cannot take with you to be filled with joy in the future. What would your future self tell your present self you have to leave behind in order to be joyful and happy? And then further on, um, what does your future self tell your present self about your current environment? And so Trent Shelton, he had gone on and he said, it's important to have regular conversations with your future self to make sure that you are continually working towards the next step, maintaining your positive mindset and environment. Your future self will tell you what can and can't come on your journey. And for me, whatever reason that resonated, it made sense. And it became very clear. I tried to picture what is my future self? What am I, what am I going to be? How am I going to be joyful? And that instantly helped clarify what I have to let go in order to maintain joy. I hope you all have the most wonderful day. If you do have the chance um, to listen to the podcast by Trent Shelton, Distance Yourself from Negativity, it was worth the listen. Phenomenal learning. Take care, have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow for day four.